everybody. So today I'm going to be making a fresh bouquet from my farm with all my flowers that I have on the farm. So I'm going to show you how I cut the flowers and how I arrange them to make a beautiful bouquet in this beautiful um, picture. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how we cut all the flowers and make a beautiful bouquet. Okay guys, so the first flower I'm gonna harvest are the straw flowers. I just wanna show you how beautiful these are. So I'm gonna look for um, the stem and cut it low. Now you can see this one stem has a lot of buds on it, which is beautiful. And look, it's already branching out. So even though you may think like, oh no, you're gonna cut it all off, it's gonna keep branching. So I'm just gonna cut it like this. Okay, and I'll probably, look, we stripped the leaves off just so that helps with the water to keep it nice and clean. So once I strip the leaves off of it like this, I'm gonna put it in my bowl. Okay, so that's a really nice stem. So let's get one more because this orange one is looking beautiful too. Okay, so look at this beautiful orange one. I'm gonna cut that right here. Whoop, that's okay, cut a little one off. So again, I'm just gonna pull the leaves off of it. This one's a little bit short, but that's okay. I'm gonna put it in. All right, and oh, let's grab a white one. So come over here. We'll grab a white straw flower. Maybe this one. Well, it's not that open yet, actually. Let me see if I could find a more open straw flower. Let's go down this way. Let's see, the whites aren't open, but I think I'm over. Uh, let's go down here. I think I see this one. You can see there really there's a lot of them. I just don't want to take all of them. This is pretty, ooh, a yellow one. You want to zoom in on this pretty yellow one? That's a little bee too. Look at that yellow one, how pretty. That's pretty, but actually, this is pretty. Look at this, the white. So I'm gonna cut it like right here. Go right there with it. Just cut it. I'm just gonna take the leaves off of it. Like that. And put it in the water. Okay, so it's the straw flowers. calendula next. As you can see, some of them are short. I'm going to be looking for the longer stem. So this one has a nice long stem. Go down and cut it. So see it has a nice long stem. This will be really nice for the bouquet. So you just got to look for the long stems on the calendula. Like that. This one here is another pretty one. A nice long stem on that one too. Little buds. Look really cute. So that's one more. I'm gonna cut, see if I can find one more. Okay. Nice little stem in there. And just strip off the leaves. If the buds are low, I take them off too. It's okay. Okay. Alright, they're in the bucket. Let's keep going. I have bachelor's button over here. So I'm gonna take some of the bachelor's button. My stock is kind of short. Um, let's see some bachelor's button, that's pretty. It's a nice long stem of bachelor's button here. If some of them die, I just snip those off. That's, this one's not either. So put that in the bachelor's button. Take that. Uh, take a couple more, there's some pink ones maybe here. Let's see what we can find. It's a pretty pink one. There's a bug on it. Let's see, maybe we'll let him stay there. Pretty one. Look at that bachelor's button. It's pretty. Okay. All right, let's go to the fever field. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty the fever are. I'm going to get a nice long stem over here. Cut it. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. And I'll just strip off the bottom ones. Like that. Okay? All right, look at how pretty we got it going here, right? All right, let's go. I see some yarrow. Let's go to the yarrow. Oh, my yarrow is finally blooming. So guys, look at the yarrow, how pretty. It's finally blooming. It took a while, but I'm gonna grab that stem because it's so pretty. You gotta get that yarrow stem, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, put it 
actually strip the leaves first and put it in. So look at this beautiful dill. Last week it was not in bloom at all, but look at these beautiful like stars. So I'm by the dill right now and it smells awesome. I want to make like a salad with it. Look at how gorgeous that is. Like a star cluster of the yellow dill. You can eat dill. You can eat the dill, yeah. But we're going to make a bouquet, so I'm going to cut it low. Right here. Yeah. All right, so put the dill in. I think I'm going to cut two uh, dills because they're so pretty with the star flowers. All right, we're going to cut this one, I think. Right there, look at that one. It's so pretty. It already looks pretty just in my uh, my bucket here. Look at that, guys. Pretty. We got more to, more to do, so let's keep going. Okay, so we're in the Celosia row. I have a couple different varieties. I have a flamingo feather one right here. Uh, the pompous plumes over here. So I'm going to cut a couple. And this is great too because uh, it's like pinching. It's going to branch out after I do this. You can see this one has, look, if you want to zoom in, it has a couple of the branches on it. So I'm just going to pull that for this alosha. And look at this flamingo feather. I'm going to, I'm going to cut this one. And then it'll start branching even though I cut the whole thing. Isn't that pretty? So that's the flamingo feather one. I think, uh, let's see. Maybe it's a yellow one. Come down here. Actually, I'm going to cut this one too. Cut that one. And then come this way. We'll get maybe a yellow one. I'll just look pretty over here. This is a very different color. This is like a, a yellow, a pinkish yellow. Is that pretty? Let's cut this one. That looks so pretty. Look at okay. this one. Look at that. So I'm just going to, even though these are on the side, I'm going to strip those away. Okay. Um, so there's, we found one more really cool one. Look at this Celosia. So I want to get this one for my bouquet. I'm going to cut it. Oh, isn't that cool? All right, so this one's going to the bouquet too. And look, my helper here, Kenneth, is holding my bouquet. I'm going to put that in there. What's this one? That one is Celosia. All right, let's go to Snapdragons over here. So finally, guys, if you remember my other videos, the Snapdragons were short, short, short. Finally, they're longer. So, woo! <laughs> So finally, we, okay, it's all right. Okay, so the snapdragons finally have longer stems. So I'm gonna cut this one. This one's actually, it's pretty bloomed out. It has a little bit more to go. So this one um, won't have as long as a vase life. So I'm gonna cut another one that will have a longer vase life because you see they didn't start blooming yet. So this one will have a nice long vase life. So I'm gonna take these. Same thing, you wanna strip the, um, ooh, you wanna strip the bottoms just so the water stays nice. Um, okay, let's put them in the bouquet. Kenneth, here you go. Put them in. I wanted that one. That, okay. oh. That's my uh, third favorite. That's your third favorite? Yeah. So we got two snapdragons. Maybe we'll grab one more. Come down this way. I see a purple. I see some purples. Look at how pretty the lavenders, the lavender ones are. Do you have lavender? Yeah, look at this. This is lavender. I'm just gonna strip the leaves. Okay, whoops. All right, we're really getting, look at this. How pretty, okay. So I think we're going down to the basil and the phlox. Let's go this way. We'll leave it on. He'll cut Okay. Okay, so now we're down by the cinnamon basil. And you can see it's flowering, the purple flowers, and that's where we want it to be. Um, the basil. This is a really nice stem. Look at that, how pretty. It's gonna smell gorgeous. It's gonna smell gorgeous. It's gonna look gorgeous. It's like perfect for the bouquet. Oh, I love it. Right here. So that's the cinnamon basil. Look at that. Um, maybe we'll cut one more. I love the cinnamon basil. Don't love the cinnamon basil. Such a pretty. This one was a little bit short, but. Don't forget the water. I'm gonna put more water in it. All right, let's go down to the flax, guys. I'll stop filming. My arm hurts. Okay. So my flax, I'm so excited, guys. Look at this flax. There's so many varieties, so many different colors. Cherry caramel, lavender. I have stars and stripes. So I'm just going to have so much fun. I'm just going to have so much fun cutting these right now because I've been waiting for these long stems. So I'm like, look at that. Wow. And this one is just beautiful, too, the lavenders. Um, let's do a cherry caramel. It's a little tall down here. So we'll grab these. Look at these, how gorgeous they are. 
on this one. Daddy. Oh, look. Ready? Mommy, I want an ice cream. Or you can stop it. Okay, so I'm in the amaranth section. I'm just taking some weed off. This is um, hot biscuits. I'm going to grab this one. This one's really pretty. I'm going to cut it low. There's a lot of weed pressure in my area here. These these vining weeds, but, you know, you just take them off. So look at that. That is hot biscuit. I'm going to also grab a, let's see, a red spike. Let's see if we can find, oh, this is a really nice red spike right here. See this one? I'm going to cut it low. Ow! Something pinched me. <laughs> okay. Ooh. A little pinchy there. Something. But this is the red spike. Again, look, you can see the the vine weed that I, I have. I know what to put it. Mom, right here. Yeah? Alright, so Kenneth is going to put it. He has a spot right here? Yeah. Alright. No, no. Right. right there? Oh, he's right in there? Oh my goodness. Look at how pretty that's coming out. Okay, let's so... go down. There's some dark green in the me. Oh, this is a, before we get to the gun print, look at this one. I'm gonna cut this one, how pretty. Isn't that pretty? Wow. Okay, let's put that one in our bouquet too. All right, let's get gun print finally blooming. They're not that long yet. I'm gonna see if we can find a long stem. Maybe this, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe this one has a nice. <laughs> so here is some gun print. Let's, all right, let's see, Kenneth. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's get maybe one more gomprina. As you can see, I planted a lot of pinks and purples in here. Really pretty. I just want to show you guys. This I did not plant. This is like a wild Queen Anne's lace. And it's actually, I use them for the bouquets because it's really, really pretty. Look at that. Pretty. So I'm gonna cut a couple of those. They're very pretty. Great fillers. Sometimes the weeds make great fillers. Look at that. So pretty. I think we're, that we're one, running out of room here. That, that looks like too big. Too big. Here, hold this. Okay, you can stop it for a sec. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we have some zinnias in bloom, which is so exciting. So I'm gonna cut a couple of these. Hi, I'm a sister. This one's pretty, right? So we'll cut this one. And I just want to show you guys. Look at this. This is a wild yarrow. Look at how pretty this is. I did not plant this, but look at that, a wild yarrow. It's because it grows in the wild. It does right? grow in the wild. So look at this. So we got this. I'm going to strip this off and then we're going to head down to the marigold next. I want a song, a song. So we have orange and yellow marigolds. I'm going to cut an orange one first. Maybe this one where there's no, uh... oh, that one's kind of short. And let's say this guy, we might have to knock him off of here. Get off of there. A little bit longer. Step. Okay. Here. Still recording. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the yellow marigold. I'm gonna go quite low on that, and it'll branch out after it's cut, so I'm not worried about that. So we're just gonna take extra stems off, some extra leaves. And I have an orange one here too. So that's my marigolds. Put them in. Okay. All right, let's go to the Cosmo. So look at this gorgeous Cosmo. I have to have this one for my bouquet. I'm gonna cut it nice and low. Strip off the leaves on it, leave the little bud. All right, I'm gonna put this in here and then come with me down. I'm gonna show you the orange Cosmos I planted. I'm excited. I didn't have these last year on the farm. I had mostly the pinks and the whites, but I planted orange at my mom's house last year and I fell in love with them and I said I need a whole patch of like orange yellow. So I'm going to get my orange and yellows. Look at this. <gasps> Look at this color. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Wow. I like that color. That's my favorite. You like the yellow? All right. So this one I'm going to get. I'm going to get a really pretty yellow right here. Like that. So pretty. They're just gorgeous. So some hold it still. So summery and pretty. I'm not that pretty. And we're running out of room, so I think we're like almost good. Oh, I see it coming over here. Follow me. I see a really pretty like pinkish. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Zoom in up. Look at that. It looks like somebody painted it. Hold it. Look at that. I'm gonna cut that one. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look at that. So pretty. Okay, here that's good.
So I have all the flowers here in the bucket and it already looks like a beautiful bouquet, but I, I'm going to rearrange them for you. Um, I'm putting them in this really cute pitcher. So I'm going to show you how I do it. So let's get started. So I'm going to grab some of the filler. I actually pulled, um, I cut some cress, um, not on camera, but I cut a little bit. I found some Persian, Persian cress. Um, a couple of things wilted a little bit. You'll see like the basil needs to like revive a little bit. The dill wilted um, a little bit on this side, you can see. So these will come back, but you just got to give them a little bit. All right, so let's see. So I'm going to take maybe one of these. Put that right in the middle there. One week later. Are you going to help buddy? You need Maybe a, a snap okay. drag and I'll pull okay. like this. Look at how pretty that already looks. So Even here, like yeah. if you had that as a small bouquet, look at how pretty in like a little vase that would look. All right, I'm going to take maybe, um, that looks pretty there. I'm going to take this over here. See how pretty that is. And some floss. Floss right there. And I think I'll put the extra cress on this side. And I have the, um, the false queen and lace here. And we'll grab some, let's say, Virginia. Maybe I'll take off the bottom of the stems there. Okay, Virginia. Another marigold on this side. Look how pretty that's coming out. And, ooh, smells good. I'm gonna have that really pretty pink right here. I'm gonna take, let's see, the fever for you. Oh, and there's a celosia. I'm gonna put it to the back like that. Put this guy right here in the front. And I have that gorgeous pink cosmo that I was so excited about. Put that maybe right over here. Okay. And I'll grab a yarrow. Put that in the front there like that. Let's see. Got some more flock we'll grab. That caramel flocks on the front. Maybe it's short, so I'll put that to the front. And a yellow snap there. Maybe on this side to balance out the yellow. Right in there. And let's see if we have a nice tall calendula. Okay, we'll get our calendula. Okay, we'll put calendula. So maybe right here in the front. Like that. And another pink straw flower. This guy will get tangled in there. You make your X on it. Maybe a straw flower. We'll put that maybe on this side right here. Look at that. That's pretty. Not even at the door, but and we're gonna balance out. Look, another celosia. See on this side. I'm gonna put it over here. Uh, I'm balance that out. Look at how pretty that's coming out. Um, I have these pillars right here. Yellow. So pretty. So put those on either side. Maybe stick one in the middle there. Look how pretty that's coming out. And oh my, my yellow cosmo. Yellow Cosmo. I think I'll put that right in there. Coming out the middle? Let's see if that coming out the middle. You know what? I gotta pull the bottoms. Because otherwise, it's not gonna go in there. If those bottoms are like that. Stick it. Whoops. In there. Ooh, that's pretty. Good back coming out. All right. It's getting full. Um, this is that that wild yarrow. You can put that in the back. Look at that. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I can fit more. I got another calendula. I'll put it back here. Look at that. And this beautiful celosia. I think we'll put it in the front. Like that. I have a short one. Too short. Oh, I got a lavender snap dragon. Let's see, we'll put the lavender maybe on this side. Yeah, this side to balance it. Stick it in here. Stick it between the flocks right here. And the straw flower, yeah. Oh, that's pretty, I like that. <clears throat> it's so pretty. Okay, it's getting full, but I have a lot of flowers. So let's do maybe one short flock for the front. 
this is that. And, oh, I have a really pretty short straw flower. Maybe we can put that on the side here. And then, put a little bit more filler right here with that. And I think we're reaching maximum capacity on this bouquet. <laughs> Let's see, I think we're good. Okay, so, how does that look, guys? What do we think? Really pretty, right? All right, I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna put in the pitcher. I'm gonna see. The pitcher is deep, so I think everything's gonna come to the top. <gasps> I love that. What do you think? Is that not like summer right there in the vintage pitcher? Just so pretty. Okay, so yeah, so that's how I arranged it. I put, you know, fillers around. Mix the colors. I love the mixed bouquets. Um, so yeah, so that's making a bouquet. Obviously, you can make market bouquets like this, but my first one on the farm of the season. So there you go, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be making more beautiful bouquets just like this. See you guys soon.